tell me all, all that it needs to know about Splat Zones on Sturgeon Shipyard? Mm, it's a very interesting map. I think it's a very balanced map for Splat Zones. So there are maps that are a bit weird, like Shalandor, for example. But I think this one actually has a lot of uh, routes. Like you need to you need to uh, come back a lot from the right side. Uh, from the top right where you have the eye ground your opponents uh, you need to get control of your spinner once you once you lose control and basically once you take control of the big part of the map you want to control is the court and the spinner uh, very strong weapons on this map well i would say stingray gets a lot of work done toxic mist is very solid as well and uh, inkjet is probably the most impactful special here what do you think i think so too and i don't think like either of the team has like clear advantage on this stage I think, like, but let's look in, just looking at the weapons, I don't think, okay, well, I mean, they're basically the same. Like, to be honest, I, I'm not quite sure what Kiri and Tech and uh, Fake Japan play. I know Echo's gonna be Charger and Kaito's gonna be T-Tech, but that's pretty much the same as Ice or Fuzzy on the opposing team. So it's gonna be quite close, like, can't really say who's gonna take the advantage here, I agree with you. But yeah, we get the uh, current finals on the way. It's gonna be best of seven with Kray and the Dynamo. Is this a real thing or is it, is it still like... Because you were screaming the other day and you, you said like, okay, that's like a meme or whatever, but yeah, do you think it's actually a, a real thing? Yeah, actually performed well during the scrim with the uh, Dynamo. So I guess huh? that must be the... He performed well with the Dynamo during the scrim, so I guess that must be the reason. I, I mean, I, I could see it though, thing. like, I, I don't, like, to me, like, as a rabbit player, I don't think Dynamo is honestly so much worse than rabbit in all situations now. So yeah, I don't know, definitely. it might be interesting to see. And yeah, obviously he likes really the weapon, so... It's a pretty even situation here, still a uh, smiley team getting a lot of early picks and getting the zone. Fuzzy has Inja, it's gonna be snowball time and they're gonna probably lose the, the spinner. Echo using spinner is gonna be very important for their team. Fuzzy gets taken out by Kiri and Grace. And also, uh, also very, very good uh, Inja pick by Kaito. For sure. Here. Actually, I think it was very smart to play it by uh, Endora here. They saw they lost the first fight, so Echo went back, charged Tingray. Ooh, that is really important pick by uh, Echo, getting the pick on Kray, so that means no, uh, no inkjet. Armor, yeah. No armor, sir. Yeah. And Fuzzy getting to trade uh, on Echo, Erza getting the kill on Kiri, and it's gonna be an to trade here. But so far a very interesting match. There's a lot of back and forth. Kaito get, getting ready to get uh, the jet on the top right of Fedora. Gray and Urza walk away. Oh, Echo, Echo getting out. On Echo. So Sniper's getting really huge picks on the whole situation. I'm yeah, it's a very strong nah, shot, I'm not sure. Oh, Fake Sniper getting double with Dan Chef, though. Maybe, it's maybe, very, even, very triple. Double maybe, there. maybe even a triple. Maybe even a triple. I'm getting a triple. Just pinch it, man. And maybe uh, the oh, uh, last one is gonna be, uh, gonna be Urza on the zone. Still, Gets killed pretty, by Echo. Uh, yeah, big, big, big plays by Fake Sniper. And Ice gets the kill. There is trades all the time, like. Every, literally, the entire both teams are dying all the time. Yeah, there's a lot of picks by snipers and like so. Exactly, I think the picks from chargers are really the most important here because they completely deny any kind of special because of one shot kill and so on. Ice has stingray ready, Echo has stingray, so we 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 have pretty good chances to see a stingray one v one pretty soon. Ice gets to kill him. Take a shade sprint. Is it safe? They lost armor and they got they lost the injury too. And the most likely Kirito will go down too. It's a really so good situation for uh, my team. Yeah, they have a good map control. They need to get the kill. This charger one v one are insane. Yeah, I mean Echo and I will be the ball stop. It doesn't seem charger. to be enough. Like Echo got two people down. It's gonna be only uh, Fake Japan and Echo trying to make a retake. Echo up against Gray. Has very small chances to do anything here. And it's gonna Maybe be too late to get zone. What a game. Almost. But what a game. There's a lot of picks on both sides and Chargers. I think sure. Chargers really were the yeah, yeah. factor in this it, game. It didn't quite I seem saw. that any team tried to play like really together, right? Like I did, we didn't get to see a lot of armor pushes, we didn't get to see a lot of inkjet pushes on any side. Grey getting a top frag with Dynamo is really impressive too, I think. Well, there we might see that they might have had some armor pushes after all. Of course. Yeah. yeah. But uh, pretty happy. Do you think uh, Kray is gonna stick to Dynamo on this map? This is obviously a good Dynamo map from Spatoon One, but I don't know how he sees it in this game. 
I want the two because it's a very good map for long range. Uh, like especially having long range on this map, like having a, a rapid is gonna be. A, it, it could be a good option, but I think Gray is like gonna stick to Dynamo for the entire tournament. So I wouldn't be surprised if he goes Dynamo here too. Yeah, we only see I believe Rabbit Pro from Camp Trigger Fist, and okay, if you're playing Dynamo on Camp Trigger Fist, then that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw <laughs> so, you play Rapid on Camp earlier. Yeah, so. But for this map, like, I could see Dynamo, and why not? Honestly, I think it's really interesting. I, it would be nice to see Dynamo get more play, so hopefully that's uh, what we'll see. For sure. I think the weapon is pretty high skill cap, but for players who already have a lot of experience from Spartan 1, like Grey, it's gonna be pretty easy to pick back up and uh, try to get something done on the Splatoon 1 maps and even on Splatoon yeah. 2 metal. And it's still like motivating I think because you're playing a weapon you played anyway in Splatoon 1 and then you get to play that same weapon again. It's, I think it's gonna be motivating for him and yeah, we see the dynamo again. And uh, not not any crazy bomb changes or anything like that. And Ice getting a, a three three mains of special power up for his stingray. That's gonna be very interesting to watch. Gray already I going mean... right with Dynamo gets taken down by the blaster. And really a uh, big big start from the from nice Pandora with Echo getting so a double kill. Perfect perfect start from Pandora there. Yeah, for sure. Echo is 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 doing the uh, reverse passing one strat, so basically he's going on the on the conveyor. But not the not these conveyor, he's going on the enemy conveyor to get some picks on the enemy on the snipe. Get some picks, get two picks with the with the stingray and the up of the inkjet from Kaito. And Kaito obviously one of the better inkjets in the western scene, sure, I believe it's fair to say. So that's a, all this plays a huge factor in these games where you need to get some picks when you're holding. I think Piranha is really a map where you need to get some picks with the with the inkjet and with the and with the Stingray, it's basically not a map that you can rush in and get some random picks in. It's like very hard because the map is so big. It's basically what's happening here. Like it seems that they get like it's might like a lot of picks, but it's not it's not enough because they're coming back faster because the map is so big they can just jump to the back line so echo basically. And now they just need to rush in and that it's gonna be very hard unless Urza can make a, a typical Urza, if you see what I mean. And yeah, doesn't seem he's gonna be able to do it. So I don't know, but can you say, <laughs> extremely solid comeback by Pandora. They had it down since the first push and... Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I think, I think Pandora was 3 down at one point, and Echo was the last one in life, but he gave jumps to his teammates and the map is so big, they just didn't have time to come back and claim the zones in time. Yeah, they just didn't get much done in the game after that. It was definitely a, a strong performance uh, from Pandora here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they have a pretty solid team there, so... And it's the players that played a lot together. I Fake Japan? Okay, don't know so much about how much he has played with these guys, but... I know I think, I think I ha how he ever but... played with them. He probably found sub. Like randomly, I don't know how much they are they played together, but so far I don't think they played a lot. So it's pretty impressive actually that they can fit him in the lineup so well. Especially since they haven't played with Kiri e either. Like the main lineup to me is really Kaito and uh, Echo, and then the other two are like fitting the comp. Yeah, absolutely. And I know I always have my eyes on Kaito a lot. I think. Like, personally, being on the receiving side of his team, Inks has always been a pain. But sure. it seems like Pandora's going for the early armor here on this map. Seems so, and uh, we can see that Ice is running a main of a bomb defense here. That seems to be a charge to survive, just the Stingray, one of the big ones. And since Miley got two picks very early, and uh, the, the incomer, early incomer, will not be enough to help I, I, did, I, 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 I didn't think it's just like small mistake because bomb defense doesn't affect uh, Stingray damage. It doesn't? Never mind. No. I think it might be against Kaito's inches. Yeah, during. that's definitely for inches then. Because I was surprised way we ran such an ability. And again, Bandura getting the first first real wipe here. And <laughs> we see Zap play kind of sneak here on the block. And Fuzzy maybe. playing very aggressive, already rushing on Kaito with the up of the Stingray from Ice. Echo trying to survive uh, the Stingray. And Ice getting a lot of pressure down on, the, on these Pandora players. Here comes a double inkjet this time from Fuzzy. Uh, and there's that together. Great goes down. Oh, nice kill by Fuzzy there on Echo. Undoubled. Nice, nice uh, 
Doubled by Fonzie Fonzie, of course. And carry the last one. Left trying to survive. Ice, Bla Ice, the sniper. Trying to maybe get a, a pick on Gray. And that's going to be a very important trade for him. As he was the last one in live, he's going to give his teammate a lot of time to come back. Fuzzy and Nerd are playing together to push his left side. Trying to get I think very, the very, very good finger by Ice if they can just push on, push to their plat a bit fast. I think they're just looking be. to get Inkjet before they can push. Like we can see Fuzzy right now is trying to get Inkjet, Inkjet ready. Yeah, he has the Inkjet now, so yeah, yeah, we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna see some action. And here, here. comes the Inkjet from Kaito. Let's see if he can get something done. Ice can take him out sadly. And Echo, last last player alive uh, on the side of Pandora. The rest is respawning. And he has pretty good chances to not survive the Inkjets to the right. Like. And he gets killed by Ice! Yeah. With oh, yeah, the, the, the clutch 1v1 charger. And it seems this game is has very good chances to go to Smiley right now. They are already getting to of their plats. They need to charge specials very quickly. And Kaito goes down to Ice! And that's gonna be game for sure right now. That's gonna be... Yep, that's game. So, pretty sure it's showing. I think th th most of these games are really coming down to the Chargers 1v1s. Like, there are a lot of picks getting... Like, a lot of just both the Slayers and like the T-Deck are getting a lot of picks here and there. But the Chargers taking out the other Charger is really always like the winning condition, it seems. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, there's a lot of players that I normally know from for a good ink chat on this set. And you know, you just need like some doubles with ink chat, some triples. Yeah, you need multi kills. And like you see, you see the multi kills are coming. But you just see like when Ice gets the pick on Echo, or like previous game on Piranha Pit when Echo was getting the picks on Ice, it was just impossible for the other team to make the comeback and do the retake. But yeah, well, I warehouse. I think another map where it's kind of harder to, to take it back. So we see one of the door in Baron Hapit. That's map where I normally think it's easier to take back. But uh, Ink Blood and Wall Warehouse both maps that are often quite hard to take back. I think and especially Warehouse, like structures. where is like one of the hardest map. You can't really give up when you're trying to make a retake. You need to get Ding Jets, the armor, the Stingray, all at once to like get some kind of full wipe and try to get into, like full control on the map. Because it's so hard, it's so easy to get locked out, and it's so hard to get back in. I think the first fight is so important on this map. We'll see how it goes. And this time, Echo chose not the charger and go Jet Crusher instead. I still have the charger. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like Smile has been going like passive in the first pushes. I don't know, they are backing down a lot, maybe it's the comp they I think Urza was watching for an opportunity to flank, but he didn't get it, and he got killed by fake Jeffen. Might not be enough since they got two picks uh, on side of Smiley. Echo trying to jump off, Kaito being the last one in live on side of Smiley, using Inkjet completely alone, and probably not gonna survive long, yeah, he gets, yeah, he gets killed by Kirin. Out fast. Stingray coming early by Echo, but uh, again, not, not, no one pushing with the Stingray, so probably Stingray not getting much done again. Yeah, we can see here that Pandora got completely locked out. They didn't. They didn't use. They use specials one by one, and they don't use it like. They don't try to time specials together, and it's gonna be very hard for them to come back unless uh, Smiley makes a mistake. And it seems that Smiley still has uh, three players alive. Kaito using another inkjet, but not with his teammates. We still have the Stingray coming out, coming down now. Ice forced to jump back. Gets the pick on Urza. That could be an opportunity for Kiri to get one or two picks and get uh, get the zone back. Oh, it's Might not be that with Grey rolling in. Kaido gets a double kill. My, it should be enough to get some back now. Not very really nice play by Kaido then. Yeah, for sure. But uh, they don't really end up holding it for too long, getting wiped again. And so far, I, I really think that we, we need Pandora needs to uh, slow down a bit and try to play together, get some 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 specials, like especially coordinating the armor and the ink jets. Uh, or even the Stingray with the, the other specials, because so far, most of the specials have been very ineffective. It's just been uh, completely weighted, because the entire map is controlled by uh, Smiley right now. Echo getting pushed back, they got three picks, and Ice gets the clutch pick on the uh, fake jab and waiting for him. Grey gets the pick on Echo on the jump, 
And it's gonna be Kaito up against Fuzzy now. Fuzzy gets the pick. And uh, unless, unless Kiri can paint this on a low with Blaster, it's gonna be it's gonna be game most likely. Yeah, I don't know. There's some moments where you could see Bandera getting some kind of stuff happening, but it wasn't really off to strong team performance. It was just one player getting like a really good double yeah, or the, the entire game has been dominated by Smiley. Like they got one retake, but it was like quick retake. They all died doing it, and they didn't really try to coordinate anything. It seemed. Yeah, Kaido had two kills, he got the double there, so... Yeah, sadly not yeah. putting in the numbers with the inkjet. Yeah, it might be a bit hard for him as well. Team coordination necessarily wasn't quite there. But yeah, Splatoon and Makamura. Uh, this would be a bit easier map to retake, though. Maybe we don't see quite 100. I think this is a map of... where Dynamo is gonna be uh, quite weak. Like, from our experience with playing with Grey last, uh, last time, he, he quite struggled with Dynamo there, so I think this is a map that has pretty good chances to go to Pandora if they can play it correctly. The Charger 1v1s are going to be very impactful again, but again, I think uh, Pandora has a, has a blaster, like they have Kirito who plays blaster. There's no blaster on the side of uh, Smiley, so it's a very strong map for blaster too. Yeah, absolutely. And I don't know, like to me, Makamar might be something where we see a bit different stuff. So it's a, it's a very different map from Walleye or Inkblood or anything like that in the way it plays out. And yeah, yep. we'll see. Wanderer has to win here if they want to keep the Grand Finals going. For sure. Alright, and we see the Charge Lusher with Respawn Punisher coming uh, on the side of Pandora with Fake Japan. Yeah, it's a very aggressive cool. lineup uh, from Pandora. Great keep going with the Dynamo. The early pick on Kirito will give them the, the pick cap on the zone. Armor used by the Triflosher. They're going in with the Stinger right now. A lot of specials using uh, together this time. Fuzzy goes down to Kiri. Urza up against Kiri now in the Stingray. Urza goes down to the Stingray. And uh, there's gonna be a, a, probably a retake for uh, Pandora here. Kaito gets the pick. Yeah, I don't know. Bunny are getting a nice hold here. They just need to stay alive against the Stingray. And Kaito, oh, Kaito gets winning the win against the Fun Vimmer is very important. That's very valuable. I don't know, maybe Earth's Canal on here can jump the prey. Yeah, it seems so. Kaito gets the big. Kaito gets the double with Kiri. <laughs> really good team play there. And they also get the kill on Fuzzy when that was jumping. Forcing Ice to jump back. And it's gonna be a full ult for Pandora, which is really important in the start of this game. Earth's going down to but Kiri on the top left. They use the armor from Grey. Great going in, Great gets the kill on Kirito and Kaito now, and full wipe! Oh, that was really, really impressive uh, play by Smiley, they really coordinated well the armor, the Stingray and the Inkjet from Fuzzy all at once, even if Urza was down, they could still manage to get a full retake with three players. And Urza goes down again, three players go down, it's gotta be only Fuzzy holding the top right stack. And not anymore. Kaido gets the trade with Urza. So uh, I kind of wipe, and uh, I know the screen pretty solid. A lot of time warning Pandora. here uh, by Pandora again. Ice against Echo. The one v one is back. Each other trying Kiri. to shoot. Okay, Kiri gets taken out there though, so might be a chance for Smiley to do something with. Of the yeah, it's a really good uh, opportunity for Smiley, especially with the Stingray right now. I think the Stingray is really uh, is really so important for this team. How to play? And uh, Urza can't. Urza almost getting the kill on Echo, didn't die to him. And Tyler left side is controlled by uh, Smiley, it's gonna be a very hard situation right now. Urza gets the double kill with the blaster, gets the triple kill on Kiri now. Only Echo alive with the single ready. And uh, it seems like the map is completely going blue this time. Yeah, I don't know, Urza's playing pretty. Fate gently. <laughs> taken out so might, might not be enough with great jumping back. Inkjet being used by Kaito up against Fuzzy. Fuzzy yeah, got ice to the Inkjet from Kaito. And Grey coming back now after the, after jumping over. They're not having the lead, still lead uh, on the side of Pandora. They're not trying to make uh, to make this a multi kill. The Tristars are getting very important big on Grey too. Being in a very bad position for a try, he really needs to get some picks right now. 
And I'm lucky, unlucky, I really had a really hard, hard to play against Urza at this moment. Right, I also heard Daniel. Hard to makes the life though. So. That's pretty cool. But we need to see Smiley hold this as well if they want the lead here. Not, and it should be enough. Play, when Urza is using Ejet, it <laughs> really makes them lose a lot yeah, of time. That's, and he might get the kill on Echo as well. And that's gonna be a full wipe. wipe. And it's gonna yeah, be very Urza. complicated now for. Uh, with Grey going up in their spawn with Fuzzy and Ice. Kiri going down to Grey. Grey initially spawn camping them. They're really gonna have to move very quickly now. With two players alive, Echo trying to paint zone alone with a charger. Can he make it? And it's not gonna be enough, and it's gonna be uh, the full set going to uh, Smiley, right? Yeah, it's gonna be 4 1 to Smiley. Oh, that was a very strong performance from uh, Smiley overall. I think. Uh, Pandora showed pretty strongly on Piranha Pit, but the rest of the maps were kind of held like very much better by the Smiley team. Yeah, I guess Smiley had the most problems against the pickup with Nile, Dude, Noctis, and Taylor. Yes, yeah, and so. the rest of the sets were much easier for them. And yeah, congrats to them. Like I can't say I'm surprised, but still solid showing by them and congrats to Wander as well. Like. Yeah, so solid, them. solid showing. There were some good, good teams. Yeah. Strong spots in the tournament here. Very interesting so far. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this small video I did cast with Sando uh, during the tournament that just happened today. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I'll see you later.